Now, you, so, most of you will probably recognise that. That's the former um, railway station, which is still there, but not as a railway station. I've, I want the, uh, the railway station to be re returned to the inner city, not where it is out in the Wapwap somewhere. Uh, but I don't, they could probably use that building. But anyway, I, I definitely think the, the railway station could come back in. It would be an asset to the inner city, whether it's there or somewhere nearby. Um, oh, and that was just need for a much lower central city. Five stories, well, I reckon three, really, the absolute maximum of height, more wooden constructions. Preserve as much heritage as we can. Uh, need to green the city. Cluster of, of activities. More pedestrian friendly centre. And I think I spoke about that before. So that's really all I have to say. And uh, if I'm quite, I'll answer any questions if you'd like to, if I can. Depends how tricky they are. Thank you, Grace. All right. Questions for Therese Minahan. Uh, we'll start over here. Yes. Um, Hold on. Just wait for the mic. Yep. Oh, thank you. If um, with the railway station, the bus station could be part of that complex too. The bus part. Well, the railway that. station, bus Combined. station is a complex, yeah. especially for tourists. Yeah. Uh, Intercity buses, you mean? Yeah. Yes. Well, I suppose that they could do that. It would be good, actually. The bus depot used to be, the bus depot used to be over near where the casino is, I think. The railway station was there. But it would be good if we had a combined complex, apparently, particularly for tourists, but also for, for the citizens of Christchurch. We need to encourage people to come here uh, and to go you know, out of the city as well, make it easier for them. I, would, now I have a poor sense of direction, and I don't think I'd ever find the present railway station. I get lost regularly, actually, despite my having lived here for so long. But I certainly, I don't think I'd make it to the, pre, to the present um, miserable little uh, railway station. It's across the road. <laughs> Some, oh. Who's up here? Yes. Yes, I just wanted to ask you about the original plan for Christchurch in 1850 or whenever it was. Uh, it was very much on the grid and it had Latimer Square as well as Cramner Square. Yes. In your talk, you focus mainly on the west side yes. of, of that. Um, but how do you see we, what should we do about the east side? I'm thinking about the streetscape, say, of Worcester Street, uh, central city, uh, from Cathedral out, say, to Fitzgerald Avenue. What, what do we need to do to ensure that that gets sort of a mirror image, a reflection of the west side? Well, they need to, they certainly need to preserve Cran uh, Latimer Square and make it an attractive venue for people to congregate, to relax in. Uh, I'm not sure how badly damaged the church is there on the corner. It's not good, is it? No. That, that was something else I meant to mention, too. Is it's very sad, the damage that's been done in Christchurch to the churches. You know, they talk about acts of God, but I wonder sometimes if the damage to the churches has been an act of the devil. <laughs> uh, so they need, if they can, to fix that or replace it with something else. Uh, there are a lot of boarding houses around there, aren't there, that area, I think. Uh, I have friends who belong to Icing, the inner city east group, and that is a particularly, poor, well, poor area. I don't m mean to use that word rudely or anything like that, but it is a sort of deprived area, and I don't know what they can do there. I don't know what damage has been done there either, to be quite honest. We hear more about Bromley and all the, those other places but they definitely should try to enhance the housing and things like that there, I think, and attract people 
to that, that part of the city. Just incidentally, you may not know that, um, that uh, there was a third bishopric they were going to call uh, Cathedral Square, Ridley Square. These were the three Anglican bishops, Latimer, Cranmer and Ridley. I think they were burnt at the stake during the reign of um, Queen Mary Tudor. So that's just, and also the cathedral initially was to be um, uh, facing where it is now, not in the same place, but uh, down on the um, west side there. And Christ College was originally meant to have been in the, cathedral, in the cathedral square, the school. And they swapped the land for the land in Hadley Park. That's a, yes, just by the way. Bit of pop history, why not? Absolutely right. Uh, was there a hand up there, Sammy? Yes. Keep going straight up, Jenny. <clears throat> okay, uh, Therese, you've mentioned on the speakers list as being the chair of the Inner City West Neighbourhood Association. Yes. But you've made not very much comment about um, residents or people living within the um, newer inner city area, would you be able to perhaps comment on uh, the inner city being a, a place for residential accommodation and the role or the possible role of neighbourhood associations within the inner city area? Well, <clears throat> when we uh, have gen uh, general meetings and things like that, we this is before the earthquake, you understand. Um, we used to issue about a thousand flyers. There are a thousand. Um, there were a thousand uh, households in our area, which uh, is, is um, Durham Street up to Bailey Avenue, Bailey Avenue down to Park Terrace, Park Terrace, Ralston Avenue, and then uh, Cambridge Terrace. We also had a lot of apartment buildings. And just in my immediate area, I would say that um, there are five apartment buildings that are empty at the moment. One, one is not permanent. It's red stickered because of the danger from the next door building, which has to come down. But that's just one, one area of, of um, the inner city. The inner city groups, we look after the interests of our areas uh, as best we can, and we're hoping to revive the, what we used to have uh, with regular meetings of the inner city groups to discuss issues affecting us and the, city, the inner city generally. Uh, we, deal with, well, we, we deal with various things. For example, ICON has dealt with um, the so-called music conservatorium, that issue. We weren't the only ones, mind you. Uh, we dealt with the uh, Christ, uh, cathedral grammar uh, closing off that road there during school hours. Uh, Chester Street, I think it is. We lost that one. Uh, we managed to get the uh, cathedral grammar to give up its idea of, raise, of shift, raising the uh, chapel area, which would have badly affected some of our residents. So we do things like that. We're actually quite active and quite busy. So, and the other neighbourhood groups do much this, well, they have different areas, of course, but they are very much involved in their own areas. I know that Icing, for example, has a Maori uh, part uh, as well, which is good. So, uh, they're interesting groups, actually. I hope that answers your question. Uh, time for one more question. I think there was one down here, sir. Yes. This isn't really a question, it's in regard to the previous question here about the east side. The geologist who spoke this morning was very keen that the east side should be kept alive and connected to the central city and he has some very interesting ideas on how to do that and what to do with those, with those areas. So if you look on the web page, um, that's this council web page on this share an idea. Um, you'll find what he had to say there. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'd be interested in that. I think it would be good if the city didn't... Oh, God. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, if, the, 
Uh, the <laughs> well, I'm mainly Irish. <laughs> anyway, um, no, I think it would be, would be good if the, that eastern side could be saved or, yes, re revived. Let's put it that way. But it needs a lot of help, and they need to be listened to to find out what they want to do. And they need to know what their land, future of their land, whether that can be saved or, or whatever. So is that... Is that okay? Just a reminder. Just a reminder, the uh, shiranidea.org.nz website, all of the speakers, including Therese, will be on there probably by Wednesday. It just depends how long it takes to get all that content online. But all of the speakers from the weekend will be on there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Therese Monaghan. <laughs>